Watch time is over. What's that? In case, man. <laughs> I see you've plied knifey spoony before. <laughs> What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI here. This is Shit's Creek, episode 11 of season two, The Motel Guest. Yeah, good point. We, did, we don't get many people staying at the motel. There was some people, some ferals there when uh, someone was having a funeral. I remember that. But other than that, it's been pretty quiet at the uh, the motel. So God knows who's going to come and stay there and make the, the roses life hell. If you want early access to my Shits Creek reactions, go to patreon.com slash FWCI. They go up there two weeks early or just subscribe here on YouTube and get them in the regular schedule. There'll be one every week, every single Tuesday. I put up a Shits Creek and I'll continue to do so until uh, I finish the entire series. But make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment as well, that helps the channel a lot. Let's jump into Season 2, Episode 11, The Motel Guest. Oh, there's a woman in here who couldn't afford a Persian rug, so she painted one on her tiled floor. The magazine is celebrating her ingenuity. Ingenuity? That accent. This is motel life, Moira. This is gonna happen sometimes. Oh, that's David. <laughs> As if you think that's what I listen to. <laughs> Sorry, David. It's coming from the other side. What? Is somebody getting murdered in there? Music's too loud. Then get them to turn it down. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's chaos. Oh, I would hate that. I would hate it. What is that? She looks like an insect. Now my eyes are puffy. Are they puffy? No, they look like they usually look, Moira. So now my eyes are usually puffy. Oh, there you go, Johnny. You walked into that. All right. Why are they listening to the same song over and over again? My wife hasn't slept all night! Well, that could be taken one of two ways. Hey, Johnny. What? Pal, whatever you and the missus do after hours, that's your business, not mine. On the walls, Roland, with our fists! And if you're into that kind of stuff, that doesn't bother- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ooh, our basement flooded! You said renovations! Yes. Is Roland having an affair? Jocelyn? Okay, look, Johnny, unless you have a warrant, okay? <laughs> I mean, I barely remember an argument between us. That's my point. In a room this tiny, you've just got to ignore the little irritants of the other, or you'd go insane. <laughs> um, oh, this is not a good conversation. And that's it for you? You, uh, you drink tea? Well, it calms me, so I suppose you would say that's because I'm inclined to get nervous or insecure. No, I would say you're sometimes a little defensive and uh, perhaps a tad paranoid. This is not good, Johnny. Look, it's by not engaging in this kind of tit-for-tat that we keep our marriage afloat. And you have no faults other than drinking tea. <laughs> John, I just admitted that I can get a little defensive. No, you didn't. <laughs> Johnny, now is not the time for you to throw one of your tantrums. I'm not the one who throws tantrums. I will not engage. <laughs> Moira, you are so full of shit. That's another thing, Mr. Rose. You never finish your fights. Oh, well, this one's finished. Ooh. Jesus. I just saw Holt and his husband having domestics and nearly getting divorced on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And now we got the same again? Tis the season, I guess. Charming studio apartment for rent in Lower SC. What's Lower SC? <laughs> well, you're a full-grown man mm. who's much older than me living at home, mm. so it's just a little bit embarrassing. Mm. Available immediately. I wonder if you could move out tonight. <laughs> I'm going to need you to come and look at the apartment with me. Okay. Why would I do that? <laughs> I don't feel comfortable going to look at an apartment by myself. Well, what if the person who's showing you the apartment is like a super cute single real estate guy? Mm, that person doesn't exist in this town. <laughs> What's the real estate person look like? Just to figure out the undershirt situation, there's just so many of them and it's, it's a lot for me. 
Bye. You know, for my eyes. <laughs> it's a lot for me. That's fair enough as well. I don't want to see Roland's undershirts. Oh. Oh, shit. Hey, Johnny. Oh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Shit. <laughs> it's our wedding song. It was actually the first song that we ever made. Okay, I don't, really don't need the details on that. Listen, I would ask you to sit, but I, I, I'm not... Absolutely. Yes. What is going on, Jocelyn? Were you there or not? <clears throat> you two are yeah. going through a little bit of a... Had a tiff? Right, it is a tiff. I'll tell you who's now having a major problem with their space. Okay, Johnny. Sometimes it's a lot easier to blame others than it is to maybe kind of turn it inwards. What? Oh my God, Jocelyn. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard you say on this show. It's because your husband is driving So you're insane. telling me that there are no issues between you two right now? No. Right, some issues, but exasper exacerbated by your husband. This is so cute for me. It's furnished. It's nice. What is going on here? Is this a functioning fireplace? Yes. How is it that the kids are the ones getting the house and the parents are just living day to day at the motel? Wait, two seventy-five <gasps> a month for this? That's cheaper than my P.O. box in New York. You think I should take it? David's gonna take it. You know, it actually kind of reminds me of your old um, office space that you had in the West Village. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> David is boiling on the inside right now. Stubborn and selfish. And he acts like you're the one behaving like a child. Exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. Words Just, get... Um, Roland and Moira are the same? <laughs> yes, that is so and Roland. You get the reputation for being hot-headed, and he gets to push every button he can. You are so right. All right, guys. On the same page, clearly. The sooner you forgive him, then then the better it's going to be for for you. <laughs> good good advice, Johnny. I guess. Uh, oh, now they're going to have a chat. Just one question: Where's Johnny? I imagine he's at work. Cause he seemed pretty angry this morning. I don't know. Maybe you need to go home and apologize. It's just a big political tactic between Jocelyn and Roland to create some unrest with Johnny and Moira? This town which is, quite frankly, woefully mismanaged. Oh, ugh, ew, I hate that. Hello, everyone. I'm Moira Rose, and I know famous people. So I really can't talk to the common folk. Excuse me all, coming through. Whoa, Roland. <laughs> what is happening there? Um, and what about parking? <laughs> Listen, what about parking? <laughs> oh, oh, you want to drop the gloves? Let's drop the gloves, Roland. Oh, yeah, here we go. Stuck up pencil skirt with clown makeup and a janitor's mop on your head. <laughs> you are an inexplicably cocky imbecile. Your marriage is as blighted as this town and you have no one to blame but yourself. Oh, this is brutal. What is this? I went too far. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, come on. In the spirit of things. Yeah, but still, that was kind of over the line. You said she was in clown makeup and had a mop on her head. I mean, we have our differences. Oh, God, who doesn't? I was, I was just riffing. Just riffing. <laughs> that got real personal, though. Yeah, good work, Johnny. It's the little things. Yeah, well, Jocelyn will be glad to hear that. She just came by to pick him up. Really? Good work, guys. Teamwork. Why? Oh, no, they're banging over there. That, that happens to be their wedding song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny's just realizing it. He's like, damn it. Seriously, though, would you want to live in a house where someone killed themselves? I can almost guarantee you that someone's killed themselves in this room. <laughs> like sometimes there's this old woman that paces back and forth by your bed, waving her hands over your face. What the hell are you talking about? Mom? Do you ever wake up with chapped lips? Dad. 
Dad's dead. Oh, I'm just such a... <laughs> Jesus Christ, David. Stop! Uh, Alexis is great and I'm very keen to watch her oh my god when is this going to go up probably around the same time that uh, Black Mirror will be coming out I'm going to react to all the episodes of that but I think she's in episode 1 and it looks crazy based on the trailer go check out my trailer reaction to that if you haven't already but what a uh, what a funny episode with Moira and Roland and then you've got Johnny and, and Jocelyn. It was kind of an interesting episode to watch because it was that real kind of duality with that whole situation. I don't know, I just kind of enjoyed it. Um, interesting that there's real estate out there that, um, uh, what's her name, Alexis and or David can afford. I'm, I'm sure we're going to see some more of that in the coming episodes. A distinct lack of Bob in this episode. Hopefully we get more Bob in the next one. Roland and Moira had a big explosion and then they calmed it down very, very quickly as well. That was a little bit weird. I thought they were about to like really, you know, like torch the earth with their argument that they were having, but it kind of seemed to settle. So I don't know if that means there's a little bit more of a connection with Moira and Roland and I, I don't know, Roy Roland's impersonation of her was absolutely amazing though that could be my highlight of the episode I reckon but let me know what your favorite part of this episode was down in the comments don't forget to subscribe go to patreon.com slash fwci for early access and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace